care of the patient with gastric surgery, hernia surgery, and bowel surgery. This is a sample care plan about gastric surgery, hernia surgery, and bowel surgery. Nursing assessment. Assess the surgical site, drainage system. Monitor vital signs for signs of infection fever, hypotension, tachycardia. Monitor intake and output for signs of imbalance, dehydration, and shock. Assess pain level and administer analgesics as prescribed. Expected diminished or absent bowel sounds in the immediate post-operative phase. Monitor nausea and vomiting. Check NG aspirate, vomitus, and stools for signs of bleeding. Assess wound rains, IV sites, and catheters. Wound dressing is changed every day or as needed. Diet is advanced as ordered after presence of bowel sounds indicates GI tract has regained motility. Nursing diagnoses. 1. Acute pain related to surgical incision. 2. Imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements related to dietary modification after surgery. 3. Impaired skin integrity related to surgical insertion. 4. Deficient fluid volume related to surgical procedures. 5. Risk for constipation related to surgery. 6. Risk for infection related to surgical incision. Nursing diagnosis. 1. Acute pain related to surgical incision. Goal. To relive pain. Planning. Assess pain level and location. Administer analgesics as prescribed. Encourage patient to change position. Assess pain level after given medication. Implementation. Assessed pain level and location. Administered analgesics as prescribed. Encouraged patient to change position. Assessed pain level after given medication. Evaluation. Pain level reduce more than earlier. Pain level. Nursing diagnosis. 2. Imbalanced nutrition less than body requirements related to dietary modification after surgery. Goal. To improving nutritional status. Planning. Monitor intake and output each shift or more frequently if needed to maintain fluid balance. Weight the patient daily. Provide high-protein, high-calorie supplements. Instruct the patient to avoid gas-proving foods. Implementation. Monitor ed intake and output each shift or more frequently if needed to maintain fluid balance. Monitored weight the patient daily. Provided high-protein, high-calorie supplements. Instructed the patient to avoid gas-proving foods. Evaluation. Weight. To be evaluated later. Nursing diagnosis. 3. Impaired skin integrity related to surgical insertion. Goal. To improving skin integrity. Planning. Assess wound or surgical site of erythema, swelling, and purulent drainage. Change wound dressing every day. Apply dressings around drains and tubes to protect skin from leakage if needed. Change position frequently. Help to patient maintain good personal hygiene. Implementation. Assessed wound or surgical site of erythema, swelling, and purulent drainage. Changed wound dressing every day. Applied dressings around drains and tubes to protect skin from leakage. Changed position frequently. Helped to patient maintain good personal hygiene. Evaluation. Write short description about wound or surgical site color, discharge, granulation tissues. Nursing diagnosis. 4. Deficient fluid volume related to surgical procedure. Goal. To maintain fluid volume planning. Monitor intake and output. Assess the patient signs of dehydration. Monitor laboratory results and report abnormal findings. Assess the patient signs of electrolyte imbalance. Monitor weight daily. Implementation. Monitored intake and output. Assess the patient signs of dehydration. Monitored laboratory results and reported abnormal findings. Assess the patient signs of electrolyte imbalance. Monitored weight daily. Evaluation. Input. Output. With time period. Weight. Nursing diagnosis. 5. Risk for infection related to surgical incision. Goal. To prevent infection. Planning. Monitor vital signs. Administer antibiotic as prescribed. Monitor signs and symptoms of infections. Clean and dressing. Maintain a septic technique. Monitor WBC level. Implementation. Monitored vital signs. Administered antibiotic as prescribed. Monitored signs and symptoms of infections. Cleaned and dressing done. Maintained a septic technique. Monitored WBC level. Evaluation. WBC level. Know any signs of infections but patient has risk for infection. Body temperature. Blood pressure. Respiratory rate. 
pulse rate. Today, our fourth care plan discussion is over. Watch, like, and subscribe. Share this video among your friends.